Hey folks, it's Chad here, Airstream of Greensboro, and I'm excited today because we have a first look of the 2024 Basecamp 20X. which happens to also be Airstream's number one selling Airstream of all time. Now the 25 FB Flying Cloud is the number one selling travel trailer, but this teardrop here, I guess you can consider it a teardrop, is the number one overall. Now if you haven't watched my two-part series on the 25 Flying Cloud, I'll link that above. Definitely wanna watch that. Tim Maxwell with Airstream is in that video and gives a ton of insight into Airstream. But let's jump into a video First look of the 2024 Basecamp 20X. I also have all the new changes inside of this paper so I can go over, over that as well. Let's get started now. Starting out with this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna kinda hit the main changes for 2024 model year and then I'll jump into like the true kind of normal walk around uh, I'll put a chapter down below so that you can skip to that if that's all you're curious about. Or if you're really just looking like, hey, what's different? That's this first part. Then we'll jump into uh, the kind of full normal walk around that you guys have watched me do a lot here, <laughs> a lot this past year. All right, so the first thing as I pull around that you're gonna notice is the no longer are we gonna have the manual ton jack. It's now the power ton jack and this looks like it's the same power ton jack I think that they put on um, pretty much all the other Airstreams. It's a 3,500 pound capacity and I think that's what they put um, pretty much on everything. Uh, so that's great. Now the reason this is important with this size coach or this size trailer, a lot of you are thinking about towing this with something like a Tacoma, um, maybe an SUV and you need to be able to install an equalizer hitch and to install that equalizer hitch you want to lift the tongue and the back of the truck up as high as you can and it's much easier to do that with a power tongue jack so i'm pretty sure most people once they got their base camp and realized that that was going to be the case that was the upgrade that they did so airstream has done that upgrade for you so we do get new wheels this year they are black with a black hub i really like that one thing i would like to see different there has been black lug nuts i'm guessing you could i mean you could replace those with your own black ones if you really wanted to but i think it does look really sharp even with the chrome um the chrome lug nuts there with the wheel but it's a black hub and black wheels you're still getting the goodyear wrangler uh, duratrack off-road style tire if you option the x package now for the the next thing or next change is going to be uh, let me go to this back door here open it and you got your your gear door that's here we you know it's the same that we've had for a bit now but the change is going to be a couple of things first of all you have a improved and thicker lid for your little storage area that's here in the back the other thing they did they added see if i can show it they added a texture to this as well it's almost i mean it almost feels rubber but it's not i mean it really does feel feels like rubber um so you've got that that's now a half inch thick so a little bit thicker. I also think they added these little feet. I may be wrong, but I just I just don't remember those from 2023. So I think they added these feet for 24. You guys tell me in the comments if you've got a 2023 base camp or 2022 base camp, a 20X, does it have these in it? And then another thing they added for the 2024 model year is gonna be this really cool drain plug here in the back uh, of the little um, storage area. So I guess you could throw some ice in here if you wanted to. And then you're able to drain that out. Now this doesn't come out. So I can't take it out. But it does have a nice rubber seal on it. And you can lock that down in there. And, uh, and seal that really nice. And then have some uh, some ice in here. I bet you could. I bet that's that way so you can have that open a little bit. And let water run out as it melts. As the ice melts. So I'm assuming that point of that was so you could use this as like an ice chest. Um, maybe a spot to store drinks. But that is, this is improved for this, for the 24 model year. And they added, and it's about time, an L-Track, an aluminum L-Track 
So you do have a way now to tie down your gear. And that was one of the things, I, I think they put that in the REI edition on the 16X. Um, there was something like that there. I think on that one, there was also like one up here. But I'm really glad they added that because now, you know, like the whole idea of this is, this is a place for you to put your gear, you know, whether it's bicycles, you know, canoes, canoes, yeah, kayaks, whatever it might be in here. And you really needed a way to tie it down. And there just wasn't really a good way to tie down stuff. So now you got the L-Track. That is, and then all, oh, they, they also improved the screen for back here. So you've got the little Velcro strap there. And there's one here. And this will come down. You've got the snaps just like before. So they'll snap in place. But what's improved is the zipper. Let's see if I can do this holding the camera. So the zipper is much easier to open. The zipper is really nice, but it opens from the center. So when you do have this uh, buttoned in place, you can unzip, unzip the center. And uh, I'm not thinking you're going to want to jump in and out. That's a fairly tall jump there. But for loading things, if you want to reach in and grab something out of your cooler or storage area, if you want to grab something that you've got stored in here, it's going to be much easier to do that with the new zipper. So I'm, in, I'm inside now. Uh, I've got the AC running and uh, I'm, I'm going to leave it running for this segment or this part um, just so you can get an idea of how loud it is. It's still the Coleman Mach-Q. Uh, it's still like straight as you can see. It just comes right down into the unit. It's not, you know, this isn't ducted like a, a Flying Cloud would be or a Caravel. Uh, this is more like the Bambi or is it the same as the Bambi. So one of the upgrades, they it's kind of two things they did. Um, the solar panels are upgraded. They're basically the paper says they're a little bit smaller and more efficient. Yeah, smaller, yeah, improved cell technology and reduced footprint is what Airstream is telling us. And then the other thing um, with your battery box, the battery box for the previous years was actually set to AGM and the, we would have to change this to lithium so it would charge, it would have the correct charge profile uh, if you put lithium batteries in. So if you didn't have lithium batteries, it would, it would already be set for that. But everybody's pretty much going lithium now. Um, so Airstream has opted to set all of their battery chargers, all their charge controllers to the lithium profile by default. So if you decide not to get lithium, you're going to want to make sure that your dealer who's doing the install for your batteries sets the profile to be, you know, lead acid or AGM. So that's a, that's a, that's a change. I wouldn't say an improvement, but I will say with so many people, uh, so many of you getting the lithium, when it gets to the factory, it's probably going to be a plus uh, that the shop doesn't have to remember to switch it for lithium. It's already going to be set that way. Uh, upgraded floor. So upgraded corn, corn, coin, not corn, coin style gray matted floor. It's a nice rubber floor. It feels to be, to me, it feels uh, robust. It feels durable. Oh, the, so another thing they changed, which I think is going to be a big thing, um, is, get outside, this channel right here that runs the full length of the of the camper so that channel is where you hook up the tent that you can get it's an aftermarket tent so it's not something that we order for you i think you buy that directly from airstream uh, through the airstream supply store but that there is a tent before and from what i've always what i've been told for a year now that tent wasn't worth getting uh, it didn't work really well with the 20 and the, the x package so there's a new tent design and a new channel to help with that tent when you're connecting to it if you want to utilize the tent. I'll try to throw a photo up uh, kind of showing what Airstream is promoting as far as the tent goes. And then the last change for the 2024 model year that at least they're communicating to us, I'm sure I'll see other things. Again, the AC is running so you can get an idea of what that sounds like, but it is the cushions. So the cushions are slightly thicker to be more comfortable. Now the base camp is a base camp. It is your it is your spot to go to uh, when you are out and hiking. 
or you're biking, whatever it might do, and you want a place that's nicer than a tent, because this is this is way nicer than a tent. It's also way more expensive than a tent, uh, but it's giving you more comfort. You've got AC if you have a generator or you have a plug-in. You've got you know 12 volt power all throughout. Uh, you know there's no TV in this. So if you want a TV, that's something you're gonna have to add yourself. Um, so I to me like this being a little bit more comfortable is nice, but not as important. All right, so I'm gonna switch things up a little bit. Normally when I start my walk around, I do the outside first and then I go to the inside. But I feel like most of you are wanting to really see the inside. Like, let's be real, the outside of the Airstreams all look the same. Uh, so I will do the outside, but I'm gonna do the inside first and then do the outside. So let's, let's start with the inside. All right, so kind of going into the door, of course, it's already open. Uh, as you know, these doors are hand-built by Airstream Artisan. There's real glass there. Uh, I just love seeing the, the the build quality to an Airstream. Now, one thing I did notice, this is like a normal RV latch. And the funny thing about that is uh, it's probably a better latch than what you get on most uh, Airstreams because those lock you out. This one is a normal latch. It's a normal, you know, it's got the little, little thing there to lock the deadbolt. And then it is key to like, so you have one key for the top and bottom and same thing on the back door then you have a 751 key that's going to get you into um, the potable water potable water and the uh, outside shower that's what the 751 is for now with this door uh, it's a piano hinge so all the way from the top down to the bottom you've got this piano hinge which we know these hinges can create noise so you might want to throw uh, occasionally some dry lubrication in there and then you're going to have this really nice door stop, nice rubber door stop. And then this is going to have an actual latch that latches this door in place so it will stay open. Now you can bend this, like bend this out if you try to close this door with this latch in place. I would suspect too that if enough wind grabs that door, it could do that as well. And then there is a little stow spot for that when you are not using it right into there. I kind of like that to me. That's just like, that just speaks quality. Uh, and I, one thing I like to also point out, and I do this with every video, but it's just worth it. But to see these welds right here and these hand-built uh, frames that Airstream does, every time they are, they're just perfect. And that is a sign to me of just the quality, uh, the extreme that Airstream goes to to make sure they're building a quality trailer. Now, when you go in, Coming into it, you do have a screen. It's not a screen door uh, that opens out and connects to this door. It's going to be a screen door that goes across. Uh, very similar to what we see. Um, what other campers have that? That's kind of like what is on the interstates, but those are accordion. I actually like this because that accordion thing is easy to kind of mess up. And then you kind of kind of get the accordion thing back in place. Now it connects through magnets and you saw how um right there like it's actually kind of hard to open this with especially with one hand without it like slamming there we go so something you know something to know about but i do like how this screen just rolls into its little little holder there and it's out of the way um now pets would definitely go through that something to think about if you got pets and immediately coming in you're going to have some of your light switches you've got some storage some hangers right there and then actually that's like a coat hanger that's your key hanger right there you're going to have one of your outlets for your furnace and then under your seats here let me get my camera to go the right way there we go you've got a lot of storage that goes around that's open but you can store tons of things down there gear bags whatever it might be uh, that box is just going to have some of the goodies that come with uh with the base camp and then you're going to see what makes I think the 20X probably the more popular base camp between the 16 and the 20, and maybe why it's the number one. You tell me, does, does the Dynet make this the number one selling Airstream? It's probably the price point, to be honest, but you have this really nice dead Dynet, it, the cool kind of curve that follows the front of the camper. You've got these awesome windows, that panoramic view that we've come to know and love with Airstream, and then the table can turn uh, if you unloosen this top one. You can turn the table and it's set up to where you can 
so I can be sitting here and see if I can demonstrate this this is kind of a cool design um, how they did this I'm not sure or if it's just geometry it's probably just geometry but say like I'm a fairly large guy so like if I get into this side over here and you need someone to get in there I may like on that side I'm gonna need to turn this table right because of the design I can turn the table if we can see that make sure I can you can see that but I can turn this table even when it gets to this point it's still able to turn and i'm not having to squeeze my gut in to make that happen and then there is right there's um oh no it's fixed i was thinking that you know you on the caravel and the bambi you can push this you, know, you can push it the dinette out you cannot do that with this one this is stationary this way but i guess you could turn it all the way around and have it like that if you wanted to almost like a serving table but it's, I just think it's so cool how, like, even as you turn around this edge here, it doesn't hit there. So you can fit people all the way into this side. If you were sitting over here, for instance, this is kind of a cool thing. See if I can, hopefully I can get this, you're seeing this in video. So like, say I'm sitting here and we don't want like, we've got four people sitting here, maybe even five, five folks sitting in the dinette, right? Going all the way across, like everybody's sitting here. For me to get out like you, we don't want to have to have everybody go out well because of the way this table turns i could turn this table like that right so sitting there we're chilling having dinner playing cards whatever it might be i need to get up and go to the bathroom um everybody can stay seated and because of the way this table is shaped i can turn that and i can get right up and move right on out i mean i just think that's a really cool design whether it's on purpose or by accident it just makes so much sense that I can just do that. Hopefully that shows up on camera well. Um, if not, you know, that's the case. But so this is also gonna be a second bed area. And let me see. Read that a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so you have this over designed, as Airstream likes to do everything, very over designed uh, table leg. There's two latches there. That's gonna allow you to push it down. And then we've got to actually lift these up and then lift this one up. Okay, now we can push this down. There we go. When you go all the way to the bottom. There we go. Okay, so it's all the way at the bottom. Latch those down. Now that's spring loaded, so you want to make sure you're holding this down with one hand. Um, when you're putting the latch in place those are going to go there and then this goes like so right there and you have your second bed right um i mean definitely two kids could sleep here and then like one adult you know i'm like five nine five ten Probably 5'10 with shoes, 5'9 without shoes. And I can fit there in the in the long part. The shorter part as you get closer to the curvature of the of the space, that's definitely gonna be a little bit smaller. Then to put this away, you're gonna take your your two little cushions and undo the lashes. And you can just bring these at this point, you can just bring it up like that. Bring it all the way back to the top, latch those back, and you're done. And then the, the negative to having to have cushions like this and not be able, being able to use um, the cushions in the back is that you've got to store this somewhere. Now to fit under, like underneath the table there, you can put it there. Most of the time you're going to see it just kind of sitting over here when you're going to uh, shop for your Airstream shut that door because it is warm here in North Carolina so that's your dinette area now you're probably wondering like what's this over here is this storage it is not that is your battery box right there batteries are going to be stored in there and it does have an exhaust pipe that pipes that out to that side of the camper um, for your lead acid your uh, it's lead acid because agiums and lithiums I don't think you have to worry about that and then right beside that you're going to have kind of a control center you're going to have your breakers and fuses right here. And remember, 
as I mentioned earlier, this is set to lithium. There's a 12 volt right there. And then another one of those new uh, USB A and USB Type C um, plugs. You've got your battery disconnect right here. And then you've got your tank heaters fresh and fresh and gray. Fresh and then gray and black. So if you are cold camping and need to keep those tanks warm, you do have tank heaters. And above that, you're going to have a little bit of storage. And one thing I like to tell people, if you're buying a base camp, check every single window before you leave the lot. These are prone to break in when they're traveling. Matter of fact, I think there's a crack right there on this one. And a little bit more storage above that. And then these latches are new. The 2022 model of the year, it was like a magnet thing that just kind of sat there. And every single one of these doors would fly open. And that was a big complaint uh, from the base camp owner. So they've got a new one that actually captures this in place when you shut it. So when you shut it and push it in, it's actually in there. Like I cannot, I can't pull this open. I got to push it in to get the door to open. So really like that new latch above that is going to be the 12 volt refrigerator. And 12 volt, this will cool down very quick. In about 45 minutes to an hour, it will be down to temperature. You do have a very small freezer above there and then some storage and pull out drawers. You your little plastic containers there. And then some storage in the doors. This is very similar to the refrigerator that comes on the 19 Interstate and the 24 GL Interstate. And then optional microwave right there and yes it is a tiny microwave as most RV microwaves are especially Airstream but just a microwave that is not the convection and that's an option to get the microwave uh, some of your other options with base camp is going to be that solar package so if you opt for the solar package uh, it's 300 watts of solar on top that is the Marlin solar panel it's a flexible panel so it follows the curvature of the roof then you're going to have a solar charge controller here now if you opt for the lithium package you're probably going to want to get a smart stunt by or shunt smart shunt from victron to connect to that so it actually gives you the charge of the lithium batteries um, if you get lithium from the factory which is the option now where you get solar and lithium for 2024 you'll get the solar package plus you'll get 200 amp hour battle born batteries now right beside the kitchen area is going to be the wet bath and they do give you uh, a little mirror there so you can see you know how, how i just got a haircut today does my hair look good and then into the bathroom it is a wet bath now the base camp 20x is going to give you a black tank and a gray tank the 16x is going to be a combined black and gray tank and then if you get the rei you have the option to do a compost toilet there the non-REI, you do not have the option to do composting tool. So this commode is going to be fastened this way. There is a floor plan. I think maybe it was the REI. And it's this way for some reason. Uh, you do have a shower head there that you know, moves around. You've got the little pole line that comes across to make a little curtain. And you can lock that down. There's a towel holder there and a towel holder right there. Um, there is one curtain to cover the window here. Uh, they also include this little storage hanger. It's labeled Base Camp. That's kind of cool. That's that's that, that's really cool. Um, I'm gonna step now. Of course, with the curtain situation, they have this to cover the door. So it's like I mean, like that's to cover the door. There's not a curtain to cover this, so they're not worried about that getting wet. It seems like, or this side getting wet, or the aluminum getting wet. Uh, they're worried about the window and the door that is where the curtains go now there's plenty of room in here if you're wondering there's another shower curtain there there's an exhaust fan just for um, the shower area that's really nice of course there is a light here as well now the knobs for cutting in the water on and off are right down there and that's probably because it's a little bit easier just to have to pipe cabling or pipe the water up to here and not have to come all the way up to like here and have that storage you have to build that into the wall somewhere and then sitting on the commode let's see course it is a porcelain commode stick my arm out and 
I mean, really, there's <clears throat> there's plenty of room. Let me shut the door. Oh, look, there's a little a little knob to shut the to be able to shut the door. A little little thing to grab onto the door. Now, there's plenty of room in here. I mean, I, I am kind of turning. Like I am turning in a little bit. Let's see if I can show like, so I'm kind of pointing this way, but if I point that way, um, I, don't, I don't touch anything, it's plenty of room. You've got the little um, water proof, water resistant uh, toilet paper holder. Actually turns, like that turns as you, <laughs> interesting. So get that, the Dometic toilet paper protector, keep it from getting wet. There's a little vent up here too to let, sh let air out as you're taking your shower. So that is the wet bath. That is a choice that you've got to make if you're going to the base camp is if you're okay with the wet bath. And then beside that, you're gonna have some more storage. And as I mentioned, you wanna check these before you take the possession of this. They can over tighten this, these screws here at the factory and it will break. Um, so make sure you check those when you're buying your base camp. Uh, now that is the pack from Airstream. These are my little bags that cut, that carry my microphone and stuff. A little bit of storage there. You're gonna have a little bit of storage right here and a piece of plexi or glass, and a little bit more storage right there. Yep. And then right on the other side, you're gonna have the controls for your furnace, your sea level. Uh, monitor system your solar controller charge controllers right there your suburban hot water controller should be right there i think we borrowed that or something is it's not there i'm not sure why it's not there but that would be your hot water heater and then another one of those uh, usb type a and type c's you have a nice window that opens right here there's some storage and one thing we have learned uh, you, can't, you don't want to put heavy things up here light things since heavy things will bounce out as you're going down the road i still have the ac on uh, I just turned it to low, if you're wondering. It's still on, so you've got low and then high, uh, off, or back to low. You've got high fan and low fan. Now you can turn this and utilize a heat strip inside of this to get a little bit of heat in the colder time if you've got power um, and want to get a little bit of heat. So now we're gonna kind of move towards the main dining area slash bed area. So you've got tables that will fit here. I'll show that in a second. You got two different height legs that are stored under this side here. Now the non-campsite side, that's gonna be a lot of your components for the base camp. Hot water heater, uh, power, uh, different things are gonna be stored in that area there. So there's not really any storage underneath this side. Now, the other side, you've got quite a bit of storage, and I'll show that right now. So that one comes up, all that storage there, and this one will open. You've got all that storage right there. So quite a bit of storage, and for your legs that hold those tables in place, there's clamps right inside of there. Now with this section, when you're building out the bed, which I'm gonna do right now, you've gotta do a couple of things. So the first thing we wanna do is pull the short legs out. Those are right here. So we'll take the short legs out, and these have this little, let's um, see how this looks on the camera, yep. You kinda of see right there. So they will tighten down and they come in and then when you unscrew it, they just kind of come out. So that's gonna fit right into this hole here. So that goes right into there. And as you turn it, it grabs and it will actually tighten down in place. So it stays in there fairly secure. That is how that works. I'm gonna find a good spot here for a good angle. All right, and then just do the same thing on this side. If you appreciate the demonstration of how the bed sets, like how to set this bed up, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Then you're gonna have one table that comes out, snaps into place right there. 
and then your other table will come out and snap in place right here like that and then these two um, boards I guess these two boards are gonna go back here I'm gonna put this up if you're wondering how that goes you just roll this up into place velcro velcro and now it's out of the way you do have a cover for this window back here so if you want to have that open you can have that open to let light in and then at night when you're sleeping of course you can put this in place and there's convenient storage right here <clears throat> sorry my voice is cracked i'm uh way too old for that to happen but great storage there for that to go right into there is a lock you can lock this from the inside this door here or the outside so these are going to slide right into place right here. Push that all the way out. And then one more. Goes right there. And then from here, you're going to fold out this and this piece here like that like so and then we'll do the same thing on this side Now there is a guy out there, there's a company out there that makes custom mattresses for the base camp. So if you really wanted to turn this into a bed that just kind of stayed as a bed, that is possible. So to me, this is the part that makes the 20x different than the 16 if you're comparing the 16 to the 20 the reason i say that is on the 16 your only sleeping option is this this layout here but it's also your dinette because remember you don't have the dinette in the front on the 16 foot on the 20 you've got this area and you have You've got the front so i've got this now in the bed configuration and you kind of saw what it looks like to do that um i'm sure the more times you do it the easier it gets i don't do it all the time because you know i don't own a base camp i just do it every now and then to demonstrate it but that's how you basically put this bed in place now it makes into a massive bed that you could lay this way if you wanted to which is that like that's actually quite comfortable because you're not on this you're I'm ma mainly just on that the, the big part the seat part of the bed but i think you can lay yeah you can lay this way too so you can lay either way whichever way um is more suitable the other thing about this area is it's so big when you turn it into the bed that you can fit you know a whole family here a family of four could definitely lay here especially two adults with two younger kids. Um, that, I think that's one of the cool things about this layout here. Now with the six, the 16, this is your bed and your dinette. So if you're gonna use the dinette in the morning, then you gotta put the bed away. The 20, you do have the option to leave this as a bed and almost just leave it made up and then use the dinette up front instead of the bed. All right, I'm out of breath. I should not be out of breath just from putting a bed in place okay so <clears throat> putting this back up i hope you guys appreciate that guys and gals this will go right into there and of course there are little snaps to help hold these backrests in place and this one 
Same here. And put that in place. Put that out. Go. And you could almost leave this in place if you were if you were really using this as a bed. Um, yeah, like you were doing the switching it between bed and dinette or bed and seat, sit, uh, seating area. You could almost leave that in place and just put the small cushions there. Kind of the way it was when I came in. So now we're going to pop these off. Pop this off. And screw these guys. And stick these back in place. I do like that they give you a spot to store your arms. Okay. And again, that will screw and lock, kind of lock itself into place. These, they use these uh, on the International Flying Cloud 25 front bed and 27 front bed. When you option the hatch, you get the same hardware. And then these tables, there is like a little spring-loaded thing. There's a receiver there that helps to hold that in place. And right there. So this, you can do it kind of like that, where it's a long table. Or, you know, you can have one there for somebody, one here for somebody. So that's kind of the dinette setup with this. Um, I almost wonder what it would be like to actually have a table that went into place here. Like what like I mentioned on the front bed. Uh, the 25 and 27 front beds when you have the hatch have that table right here and actually have like a true dinette that'd be cool to see that um okay well that's the dinette that's how it looks when you set it up this way and then these can store the you know, little, little bungee cords down there they store in that little bungee cord area and of course there's the two um little snaps to hold those in place there is a reading light right there for when you're in the bed Really, with that one low, it's not that loud. It is pretty loud when it's on high, but it's not that bad on on low. Um, now these caps that that cover those holes, there's something that you do have to keep up with um, if you want to keep them. So that's that's going to be up to you. Okay, so now I'm going to move over to the kitchen. After that, that was fun. Hope you guys appreciated that demonstration there but there is there there is the dinette setup for how it would look if you were going to use the dinette uh, and those tables for that section and remember because it is the 20x you still have that whole dinette that you, that you can utilize as well all the storage underneath it so i'm going to move kind of basically going in a short circular fashion here we've got another large hanging storage area here now these straps are in place just to give this a little bit more strength. This one I have found is a little bit more flimsy compared to the shorter ones. Um, these tend to have, like, they seem to be stronger, even up here. But this long one, you definitely tell, like, there's a lot. You know, it's, it's long, you know. Uh, love the windows across from the dinette. Um, you've got the tower power here with USB charging. And then power you're gonna have a really nice deep circular seat i am a fan of the circle sinks um and then you've got a faucet here it's not one that pulls up or anything uh I'd, I'd like to see a different faucet here at least on the 20x with the x package maybe give you uh, a different like a shower i mean not shower thing you know the pull out thing whatever that's called you do have a plastic kind of cutting board type of thing here from airstream to make that more counter space. And then beside that, you're gonna have your two burner prop propane suburban cooktop 
which they use these in a lot. These things are used everywhere. But the little, you know, just two little burners. You've got your little light switch there. You guys know what this is. It's there. It's got all the warning signs. It does have the lid. You don't want to shut this when it's hot. This will crack. The lid will crack. I'm going to make sure that cools off before you shut it. And then below that, you're going to have some more storage. Inside this one, you're going to have your silverware organizer. And it does have a nice little cutout for that to sit in place and not move when you're traveling. And a little bit more storage. And more storage. And more storage. <laughs> And then you do have some good storage under the sink itself. I mean, massive, massive storage area. That's the little rubber bands that holds the tables in place right there. You do have a propane detector right there. Uh, oh yeah, there are some tie downs. You know what, these are probably in the regular base camp and I just never really thought about them. But that's a tie down there. When I say regular base camp, I mean the 2023. I bet these were in the 23s. They didn't have the L-Track. That's new. And then kind of look at the ceiling. I love, I mean, it's, it's an Airstream. I love the aluminum interior wrap. I love the aluminum ceiling. Um, you do have a Max Air uh, fan now. It doesn't mention that being a change. I think the Max Air was, has been in the base camp. You know, we've been having issues with the Dometics with the lids breaking. So you've got a max air here. They are still doing the Dometics. From what we understand, the Dometics, they've um, finally fixed their issue with the lids breaking. And if you have a, uh, you know, Airstream travel trailer that you got in 23, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that is the inside. If there's something I missed, let me know. And I'll try to grab it in the next video I do. All right, let's jump to the outside. Okay, so we're going to start the outside now. It does feel a little bit different, a little bit weird that I've already done the inside and I'm getting ready to start the outside. I'm kind of used to doing the outside and then working my way to the inside. But let's jump into the outside now. You guys let me know what you think of me doing the inside first and then going to the outside. So you, like I mentioned earlier, the 2024, you're now going to have a standard power jack, which I think is perfect. That should have been there a long time ago. But you do have the light there. It's powered, which is fantastic. You're going to have the Demco uh, hitching system. And, of course, your chain's there, and there's a little spot for those chains to hang out. Now, under this big black container thing is going to be two 20-pound propane tanks. Now, if you're looking for all the specs for the base camp, again, that's going to be in the description just like always. Now, on the top of this lid, you're going to have your storage spot for your power cable as well as some of your other um, things that you might need. Like this actually is for the top of the power tone jack. If something happens to, with, to this or the power goes out and you don't have power, this will actually set right down at the top here and then you can manually raise that up and down. And then you're going to have your... How was that in there? Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, you're going to have your manual for your stabilizers. That'll be the hand crank. Again, you can get this, it's just three quarter inch. You get a socket or we sell an adapter and put that on the drill and then that will become powered. You've got your smart cable right here. The smart cable is fantastic. Uh, so much easier to use, so much easier to latch and unlatch. And then under this black lid here, you're gonna find those propane tanks. So if you're wondering, Chad, how do I get to the propane tanks? That's how, it's literally just lift this up and, and you've got access to your 20 pound propane tanks. There is an auto switch over there. I always recommend not using the auto function and turn it to one side so you know when you are down to one tank. And I'm going to put the power cable back. And once you get this all the way up, it will latch in place. Now you're, you're going to see these QR codes throughout the coach, throughout the base camp. Those will get you to resources for how to utilize the base camp. Now there is a little C whatever this is called thing. I think this will be for pets. That's what I'm guessing. Um, and that's just uh, one of the LP propane hoses. Now, the reason you see the propane hoses hanging down with Airstreams, they like to keep the hose outside the coach as long as possible and then only enter the coach when they absolutely have to. 
So that's why you always see those kind of hanging out if you're looking at an Airstream. Spare tire is right there. And then this is where you're going to let that down to be able to get to the spare tire. You do get a spare tire on the Airstream. You're going to see one of the stabilizers right there. You do have a total of four of those. The two back ones are going to kind of go out diagonal. And then the front ones are going to go straight out. And you can see the side profile of that steel step that they use on the base camp. Now you see the wrap that goes down. That is going to be fully enclosed. Just like all of your other travel trailers that Airstream makes. And then you're going to have the stainless steel rock guard right there. That does open up to let you clean behind it. There's a... Uh, piano hinge right there and then you've got your solar guards just like on the travel trailers these open up out and that one will open out as well that's to allow you to be able to clean those windows behind it um, when you're cleaning your airstream i love the airstream logo across the front i think that looks phenomenal i'm moving around i already talked about the latch when we went inside you've got your still step that step is pretty much what but everybody else uses all of the other, some other brands out there. You're going to have the Goodyear Wranglers, Duratrax, the off-road tires on the X. Remember on the non-X package, it's going to be a regular Goodyear tire. And you're also not going to have that three-inch lift kit that you get with the X package. And the new awesome, awesome looking black wheels with the black hub. You do have a light just over the door right there. It's funny when I'm pointing, if I point and look, on camera i'm like in the wrong spot i'm up there i have to look at the camera to see where i'm pointing to but that light right there led and then towards the back you are going to have some power 110 power outside but you'll need 110 power for that to work there is no inverter anything like that on the base camp not to say that people don't regularly add inverters in to the base camp we do those upgrades all the time here you're going to have the really large hatch door that opens side to side as it's supposed to up. The awesome looking LED lights, the Cadillac lights of the Airstream. And you've got your plate there. Now, if you're wondering, I see this, uh, this question asked a lot. What are these connectors here? That's for the license plate latch light. That's the license plate light. So that's just a 12 volt signal that goes to this light here. So it can light up at night and keep you legal another light there now there's no backup camera on the base camp it's a smaller vehicle so maybe that's why they don't put a put a backup camera there's also not even an option for a backup camera but that is something we can add if you want us to add that uh, any dealer is going to be, be able to add that they're going to pull 12 volt power again i'm looking up and pointing up there they could pull 12 volt power off of that light right there and then be able to add a camera back here if you'd like to, like to. And you're gonna have your outside shower, hot and cold water, and an actual outside shower on the 20X. That's the suburban hot water heater uh, outlet. You're gonna have your potable water fill right here, your city fill. This is gonna be your city connection. That's gonna go straight to your faucets and your, your showers and so forth. That does have a pressure regulator built into it, so you don't have to put one on it. It's already got one in there. And then you do have a black tank flush, which is very important. And remember to always use the black tank flush every time you go camping. If you don't lose it, you look if you don't use it, you lose it. And then you're gonna have your suburban hot um that is the furnace outlet right there. Now, one of the things I love the Airstream does, they even do it on the base camp, is they pipe down the condensation drain for the air conditioner into the wheel well of the tire. So that water right there is just coming off of the air conditioner. That's the water that would normally run down the side of your RV. Um, and a lot of RVs do, do that, not on an Airstream. And then moving, you know, we're on the business side of the coach, moving towards the front. You're going to have your black tank dump there, your gray tank dump there. Remember, always pull the black tank first and then the gray tank. You're going to have a little bit of what we call wet storage. Oh. that doesn't want to come open there we go so a little bit of wet storage right in there that needs to i think that's going to need to be adjusted before it gets to its new homeowner yeah yeah that's going to need to be adjusted hey it's a brand new camper we still need to adjust things that's why we do a system check to make sure everything is working before you take it home 
Now the smart plug right here, 30 amp smart plug. Now they were using the gray, I felt like a lot. This is like a black color, I like this color. Uh, you've got the smart plug, it does have the light on top to tell you if the power's right or wrong. You'll be able to see that before you plug it in. And then to, open, to pull this out, you're just gonna squeeze these and pull out. It snaps right in place, it's incredible. I love the smart plug. And then you have your solar connection right here. So if you wanna add some solar, ooh, about fell backwards. Uh, it's this Zamp powered, it's the suitcase solar that has a charge controller built onto it. You can plug that in right there to extend your solar out a little bit. And then you're gonna have sewer hose stir it storage right here. So you do have a spot to put your sewer hose. You don't have to put that sticky hose on the inside. All right, so that is the 2024 Basecamp 20X. Now this is a little bit different because usually when I end the video, you know, I'm on the inside. This time I'm on the outside, so I'm trying to put it kind of behind me. Now if you have any questions about the 2024 Basecamp 20X or the 2024 Basecamp 16X or the 20 or 16, feel free to reach out. All of my contact information is right there below. Also, you know, feel free to come by your stream in Greensboro and take a look at the 20X. We've got this one here now that is currently available, but I'm, I'm sure that's going to probably sell pretty quick. But if you're looking for a base camp, um, we're going to give you the best deal possible. We're going to give you the most for your trades that we can possibly give you. Uh, we are the largest dealer network of Airstream dealers, so it does give us access uh, to Airstreams that you may not have uh, otherwise. So, contact information in the description. Uh, all your specifications are going to be right down there in the description as well. Just click that link. Hope you guys are having a great day. You live riveted, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.